The Ultimate Guide to Understanding Basic Technology Terms Technology has revolutionized the way we live, work, and communicate. However, with all the advancements, it can be challenging to keep up with the terminology. Technology is a constantly evolving field, and new terms are being introduced all the time. If you're not a tech-savvy person, it can be overwhelming to navigate the world of technology. That's why we've put together this ultimate guide to understanding basic technology terms. From common acronyms like CPU and RAM to buzzwords like the Internet of Things, IoT, and Blockchain, we'll explain everything you need to know in simple terms. Whether you're a beginner or just looking to refresh your memory, this guide will help you understand the language and concepts of technology. One. An introduction to basic technology terms. In today's fast paced digital world, technology has become an integral part of our daily lives. From smartphones to laptops, we use technology every day, but with this increased use comes a whole host of technical terms that can be confusing and overwhelming for the average person. That's why it's important to understand basic technology terms so that you can communicate effectively with others and make informed decisions when purchasing or using technology. To get started, it's important to understand the difference between hardware and software. Hardware refers to the physical components of a device, such as the screen, keyboard, and processor. Software, on the other hand, refers to the programs and applications that run on the hardware, such as Microsoft Word or Google Chrome. Another important term to be aware of is operating system, OS. An operating system is the software that runs on a device, providing the user interface and managing the device's resources, such as memory and processing power. Popular operating systems include Windows, Mac OS, and Android. The term cloud computing has become increasingly popular in recent years. This refers to the practice of storing and accessing data and applications over the internet rather than on a local device. This allows for greater flexibility and accessibility, as users can access their data from any device with an internet connection. These are just a few examples of basic technology terms that are essential to understanding the digital world. By familiarizing yourself with these terms, you can confidently navigate the world of technology and make the most of the exciting opportunities it offers. Two. Understanding hardware and software. When it comes to basic technology terms, understanding the difference between hardware and software is crucial. Hardware is the physical components of a computer system, such as the monitor, keyboard, and hard drive. These components are tangible and can be seen, touched, and physically manipulated. Examples of hardware include computing devices, peripherals, and input-slash-output devices. Software, on the other hand, refers to the programs, applications, and instructions that tell the hardware what to do. It is the non-physical aspect of a computer system and cannot be seen or touched. Examples of software include operating systems, productivity software, and games. It's important to understand the difference between these two terms because they play different roles in the functionality of a computer system. Hardware provides the physical framework for the software to operate, while software enables hardware to perform specific tasks and functions. 
Having a basic understanding of these terms will help you navigate and troubleshoot any issues that may arise with your computer system. Whether it's installing new hardware or updating software, knowing the difference between these two components will help you make informed decisions and optimize your technology experience. Three. What is an operating system? An operating system, OS, is the most important type of software that runs on a computer or mobile device. It manages the computer's hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer programs. Without it, a computer or device would be useless. Imagine having a car without an engine. That's how important an operating system is. Some of the most popular operating systems for computers include Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. For mobile devices, iOS and Android are the most widely used operating systems. The operating system is responsible for managing the computer's memory, processor, and input/output devices. It also provides a user interface, allowing users to interact with the computer or device. The user interface can be graphical or text-based, and it is through this interface that users can open and use applications, browse the internet, and more. Operating systems are constantly evolving with new features and updates. It's important to keep your operating system up to date to ensure your computer or device is running smoothly and securely. Four. Understanding computer networks. A computer network is a set of computers and other devices, such as printers, that are connected to one another for the purpose of sharing resources. These resources can include files, programs, and devices such as printers and scanners. There are many different types of computer networks, including local area networks, LANs, wide area networks, WANs, and wireless networks. A LAN is a network that is confined to a small geographic area, such as a single building or office. LANs are typically used in small businesses, schools, and homes. A WAN, on the other hand, is a network that spans a larger geographic area, such as a city, country, or even the entire world. WANs are used by large corporations, governments, and universities. Wireless networks, also known as Wi-Fi networks, are becoming increasingly popular in homes and businesses. These networks use radio waves to connect devices to the network, rather than using physical cables. This makes it easy to connect devices to the network without having to run cables throughout the building. Understanding computer networks is important for anyone who uses computers or other devices that are connected to a network. By understanding how networks work, you can troubleshoot problems that may arise, and you can also take steps to protect your devices and data from unauthorized access. Five. What is the cloud? The cloud is a term that is used a lot these days, but what does it actually mean? In simple terms, the cloud refers to a network of servers that are connected together and accessed via the internet. These servers can store and manage data, run applications, and provide a range of other services to users. One of the main benefits of the cloud is its scalability. With traditional technology solutions, companies would have to invest in expensive hardware and software to support their IT infrastructure. However, with the cloud, businesses can simply pay for what they need when they need it.
This makes it a more cost-effective solution for businesses of all sizes. Another important benefit of the cloud is its accessibility. Because it is accessed via the internet, users can access their data and applications from anywhere, at any time. This means that businesses can become more flexible, with employees able to work remotely or from different locations. There are different types of cloud services available, including public, private, and hybrid clouds. Public clouds are run by third-party providers and are available to anyone who wants to use them. Private clouds, on the other hand, are built and maintained by individual businesses and are not accessible to the general public. Hybrid clouds are a combination of both public and private clouds. Overall, the cloud has revolutionized the way that businesses operate, providing more flexibility, scalability, and cost-effectiveness than traditional technology solutions. Understanding the basics of the cloud is essential for anyone looking to stay up to date with the latest technology trends. Thanks for watching this video. Kindly like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification button for next video.